it's gonna select those uh, vertices you can deselect them or you can draw it again just click somewhere it's going to deselect if you're going to click somewhere in your 2D space it's deselecting your selections so be careful with that but you can always undo if you accidentally did it but I don't wanna undo so I'm going to deselect and kinda in the center draw the circle like so and if some vertices over here is selected let me zoom and show it to you I'm going to deselect it just one this guy right here so I'm going to use the alt tool and make sure I'm using the select object tool then I'm going to hold the alt button and kind of deselect it how to get back to the square selection you're going to go ahead and selection region tool click on it holding the mouse and select the square okay let's go ahead and zoom out as you can see my middle circle of dots or vertices are selected now I'm going to use the select and uniform scale tool and it basically works just the same as in polygons or with edges so you're just learning how to work, in, of work you're learning how to work with uh, vertices and using the a small yellow triangle put your mouse so it's triangle I can you can see modify my uh, object as well like so okay kinda position it where I want it then unselect it okay get back to the perspective view put my viewports kinda like it was before get back to my uh, perspective view have a look alright we kinda create that feeling now what I'm gonna do uh, I'm going to go ahead and click polygon tool and just because previously our polygons were selected and we just left them to be selected they are uh, going to be selected if they are not selected you can click somewhere and it's going to deselect them if you will use the select object tool click somewhere deselect polygons, deselect the edges, deselect the vertices and then click on the top polygon let, let me show you again how to select those polygons using the our orbit uh, sub object tool rotate our camera view and select the bottom okay get back to the top and uh, I use the control button to move to select of the pulse I was holding it so the next thing what we want to do I want to teach you some more uh, uh, options we're going to scroll down and find the inset inset going to click on the settings of the inset and it's going to create an extra polygon inside of that polygon as you can see uh, we're going to use uh, the maybe three amount of three click enter you can see now perfectly inside of that selected it created an e extra polygon on bottom and top because two polygons were selected from bottom and top okay and now what we're gonna do we're gonna go click save first this button right here save file make sure everything is saved if it will crash as I told you already we're going to go, go ahead and click extrude settings right here and it's going to extrude so you got an idea right you can see on different viewports it just extruded but we don't want to extrude it let's extrude it inside so I'm going to put the sticker like I did Mr. Z Media so instead of extrusion height 10 you wanna put minus before it and click enter it's just going to get inside and maybe not minus 10 maybe minus a one instead of ten and maybe minus two let's create minus two no minus one is fine like so minus one perfect and now let's click OK and let's get to the top so you just learn how to inset create inside of the polygons another polygon selection 
extra polygon selection addition, uh, just add to it and also you learn the extrusion out and extrusion in let's go ahead and scroll up and click on polygon uh, icon double click on it so it's going to deselect it and now we can work with our 3D object model you can see we created some sort of the form in our 3D object nice we can place the sticker here and uh, how to model uh, how to texture this model 3D model our the whole computer fan you can learn from my um, texturing uh, 3D Max tutorial where I'm going to show you how to set the lights and texture your uh, 3D models in this case is I'm going to use this fan to make it photorealistic so don't miss it out I'm going to release it as a different uh, course, video course alright so perfect we just create a shape and we are satisfied with that so what we're gonna do now we're going to go to our top view port zoom out I'm using my third mouse button you can use this tool right here zoom out and then make sure that our this cylinder is selected let's name it as fan cylinder so we're going to know what is going on and let's go ahead and click our select object tool over here and click on our fence and we're gonna name it fence always keep us habit to name your object so you're going to know what is going on just when you're going to use this select by name tool and select something so it's get very handy you're going to know what is going on what is you're going to select it right now fence is selected as you can see and it's highlighted all right wow it's getting late over here so folks uh, please thumbs up for every single part if you're watching this on a YouTube and as you can see I dedicated a lot of time for free effort for you but hopefully somebody is going to learn and we're going to have some more to the artists out there and some more revolution and evolution in 3d okay and um, let's go ahead and using our select object tool I'm going to go ahead and back select the big as fan cylinder as we name it fan cylinder uh, let me name it correctly cylinder okay make sure it's selected we're going to use the select the move tool and uh, go back to our top viewport right click on it and as again make sure you select the move tool is selected kind of move it by X and you can see our fins are moving with our cylinder and why they're moving because we are use the this guy right here this tool select and link tool and uh, just watch our previous video to learn how to do so how to attach one model to another model so it's going to link it and kinda repeat its moving and scaling abilities so if you if I'm going to scale this uh, cylinder our fence if it's linked with this tool right here select and link it will scale down automatically as well at the same proportion as my cylinder gets very handy okay uh, you can also group it uh, make it as a group but I'm not going to uh, show it show you right now I'm going to show you in the end so I'm going to get confused as another way to uh, group the objects together and manipulate with them alright so make sure that cylinder is selected using our uh, select and move tool uh, on the X axis you wanna move it like so and kinda move it inside of that hole by the Y axis kinda position it let's go ahead and click on this guy right here zoom extends as you already know in that viewport it will bring camera zoom straight on the object is selected let's use our zoom tool zoom out a little bit and we're going to see how we're working here yeah we're we're perfect in here that let's use the pen view and kinda see we're perfect in the hole 
all right but you can see in our left uh, view uh, uh, left uh, viewport sorry it's getting late my <laughs> I need a little bit water but I want to drink or pause because my voice probably going to change and it's going to uh, you're not going to probably like it so I'm going to use that as it is and keep you at the same environment so click on select move tool and then click on left viewport right mouse button and then move it by the Y kind of to the top like so in the center nice let's go back to perspective view right click on it with your mouse button and then let's bring the perspective view camera to our fan let's click on this zoom extend selected icon alright it's just going to bring it automatically then we're going to zoom out using the zoom tool zoom out and we're going to see what's up over here okay let's go ahead and uh, basically maybe uh, scale our fan just a little bit to the top like scale so it's going to be higher up to here somewhere so as I told you if fence is linked to the cylinder here to this fan cylinder if I'm going to with this tool right here select and link if I'm going to select an uniform scale using tool and um, let's click on it and in our uh, left viewport right click on it by Y I'm going to scale it like so you can see the fins are scaling automatically see that that's nice because we used before we linked to the cylinder object or fence just learn uh, watch the previous video if you skip that 